Yeah, good Corey, um, you've been here a couple of years and went through the tough times and round one was a bit of a reality check. Yep. What's the feeling like now after two wins and you can sort of see the tide turning? Yeah, it's a great feeling. Um, like you said, I have been here when um, we haven't been going so well and um, I'm really happy that uh, the, the way the club's going and the way the team's heading in the direction that we're going, um, we haven't really focused too much on you know the results. The results are good, but at the moment we're just sticking to the process um, and t uh, taking each week as it comes. But uh, I really like the way um, the team's shaping out to be and the way the club's going, so it's exciting. What's Ciro's message has been over the last couple of weeks? Out of round one, I know he came out and he said that's not acceptable. So how's he been able to turn it around and, and still believe? Yeah, I think just every game we play, I know we've only played three games, but we just uh, have lessons out of it. Uh, win, win or lose, I think um, we can take lessons out of, out of each game. And uh, as long as we learn from them lessons and address them during the week, um, we can only get better. So I think if we continue to do that, um, the results will come off the back of that. And just trusting that uh, every, every week we learn, every week we get better um, as a team and we gel. Uh, each game we play, um, then the results will take care of itself and w we know what we need to do um, to win the game. So if we just keep doing that and learning and getting better and growing, um, only way is forward. How important is it to have that cliche mindset, so to speak, that yeah. you take it one game at a time for a young team that could get ahead of themselves? Yeah. Oh, it is, uh, you know, you say it uh, one one game at a time. It is a bit of a cliche, but it you know, it it is you know a week in rugby league is a long time, uh, especially at this level. So um, we just learn learn um, situations in the game, and I know that uh, we are a young young squad, and we haven't you know there's boys here that are new and haven't played much time with each other. But uh, the longer we play together, and um, the better co cohesion we get, um, we'll be better for it. <laughs> no, it was, it was hot, but I think, um, yeah, we were under uh, the best medical advice and our physios and, uh, and our trainers and stuff, so um, we knew what we needed to do and uh, we trained for it all pre-season, so um, we knew what we were up for on Sunday going into it and, yeah. I know it was nice, obviously, grind out the win and, yes, the, the heat played a part in fatigue, but was it almost a bit of a wake-up call that the Tigers got themselves back into that? Yeah, I think, um, like I said, we won that game, which was really good to come away with them two points. Um, but again, we can learn from where we went wrong there. There was there was a period in that game there where I think you know we weren't at our best and we weren't um, playing playing football, so to say. So uh, we, we walked away from that game um, happy with the two points. But again, we learned a lot from that game and we know what we need to do now moving forward. The Warriors have been maybe a bit of a surprise packet by going to Townsville and knocking off the Cowboys. Yeah. They're, they're dangerous. Prospect, especially on home soil. Yeah, hundred percent. They're looking real good this year. I've, you know, watched their games and um, they've they've got a good forward pack and um, their outside backs are really getting them out of trouble. So uh, we know what we're up for again. Um, going over to Auckland this week and we've got to be at our best. And um, uh, the last three rounds are gone now. And like I said, we're looking forward to this game. We know we we got to be at our best to beat them. Almost the Warriors of old, like they get out and just throw the ball around and see where it lands. How yeah. hard is that to? Against no structure, basically. Yeah, it is. It is very hard. Um, we, I guess we've got to stick to stick to our principles in defence and uh, make sure that uh, we're really tidy around the ruck there because uh, they they are not afraid to play football and they've got some really class players there that can sort of come up with not, um, something out of nothing. So we've got to be on high alert in defence and uh, we know that uh, if we're going to win this game, it's got to come off the back of our defence. So um, we'll be looking for a big big game. This year, yeah. where you're in those negotiations, I, I assume you can see something building yeah. here and you want to remain filming. Oh yeah, 100%. Um, you know, I haven't really thought about that too much. I've just focused on um, playing good footy and um, making sure that the team's where it needs to be each week and making sure that uh, my footy's uh, getting better each week and uh, I guess, yeah, that, that stuff will come when, when due time, but at the moment I'm just focused on playing well and making sure that we keep winning. I can understand. Security, yep. is something that plays on your mind at all? Uh, 100%. Um, everyone wants security. And um, uh, yeah, so, you know, when the time comes, um, I'll be looking at that. But uh, for now, I'm honestly just focused on uh, playing good football and making sure that um, the team's playing good football and um, that'll come.
Sweet. Sweet. Thanks,